Welcome to Avatech Online. In this program, we will take a quick look at the operations involved in the compressor intake housing disassembly for a Westinghouse J34 turbojet engine. For a more comprehensive demonstration of the disassembly and reassembly of this engine, you can go to the full program at Avatech Online. While the J-34 is an older design, it operates using the same basic principles as all modern turbines. The J-34 permits training at an economical price using readily available tooling within a reasonable footprint. Knowledge and skills developed here are applicable to newer and larger engines. We'll begin the disassembly process by removing the top half of the compressor inlet assembly. The compressor cover is magnesium, so be careful of scratching or gouging it. Begin by removing the two cover plates and through bolts at the intake end of the compressor housing. Failure to remove these through bolts and covers will result in damage to the inlet vane assembly and the compressor housing. Remove the through bolts from the forward inlet guide vane assembly and the aft diffuser flanges. Remove the bolts from the horizontal flanges using a straight punch and soft hammer. Tap out the taper pins after removing the nuts. Remove the lifting eye bolts by removing the nuts. Use jack screws in the blind holes on the horizontal flange to separate the two halves. Use a sling and lift the cover straight up off the engine. Be sure not to cant or twist the cover as you are lifting it, since you'll damage the compressor blades and or the stator vane assemblies. Use the sling with at least one person for alignment and stabilization to lift the cover straight up off the engine compressor. Once the housing is clear of the engine, you can inspect it for defects and check the condition and security of the vane assemblies. Check that every vane assembly is tight in the cover and there is no evidence of rubbing on the rotor. Use extreme caution when turning the compressor rotor. It is very easy to trap a finger between the blades and the lower case or in the stators. There can be severe consequences if this happens. Inspect each of the compressor stage blades for damage, nicks, bends, loss of material, and overall condition. Depending on the dimensions of the damage, the blade may be repaired by blending, or the blade may have to be replaced. Thanks for watching the J34 compressor housing disassembly video. You can find a complete online course for the disassembly and reassembly of the Westinghouse J34, along with many other educational programs, on the web at www.avotechonline.com. You can also see a complete list of textbooks, reference materials, and training equipment especially designed to support AMT schools at www avatech.com